Breaking, McCain issues disgusting response to murdered hostages' family. John McCain has become one of the most detestable human beings ever to hold a seat in the U.S. Senate. Now that he's old and senile, he has a hard time hiding his true nature and its pure ugliness. McCain could have offered condolences and been helpful to the family of Otto Warmbier, the 22-year-old who died just days after being released by North Korea. Instead, the Arizona senator called the young man stupid and talked about finding a way to absolve the government of his death. Here's what McCain had to say. There should at least be a form for them to fill out that says, if I go to North Korea, I understand I am taking great risk, and I do not hold the American government responsible. Now I hope the American government will help, etc., etc., but I realize what has happened to previous American citizens including their deaths. I would have fir the first because I, if people are that stupid that they still want to go to that country, then at least they assume the responsibility for their welfare. In his remarks, Senator McCain shows no consideration for the family who lost their son, despite admitting that North Korea murdered him there's no talk about how to hold the communist regime accountable. McCain only thinks about himself. You would think John McCain would have greater sympathy for Warm Beer and his family. After all, he spent over five years in captivity as a POW in Vietnam where his captors tortured him. But McCain sold his soul to the establishment long since then. And what I'd like to add, how do we know that it really they that they, they really tortured him? Let's be real. We don't know what this criminal in charge, this warmonger. The mission of the American government should be to protect protect the interest of American citizens wherever they are. Instead, McCain is busy thinking up ways to protect the government from legal culpability. It's amazing where his priorities lie. Despite being one of the biggest voices of the Republican Party, John McCain is anything but conservative. In fact, he looks more and more like a Democrat with each passing day. It won't be long before he announces a, a party switch. McCain is one of the biggest opponents of President Trump. He's continually fueling the Russian collusion narrative. Despite his influence in the Senate, he does nothing to help advance major items on the Trump agenda, i.e. health care, tax cuts, the wall. And he's a major war-hungry neocon who loves the thought of sending our troops needlessly into Middle Eastern wars. McCain will be forever bitter that he didn't become president. Not only did he run a pathetic campaign against Obama, the truth is Republicans saw right through his facade. That's why he wants, uh, wasn't able to turn out the vote from the Republican base. If anything good came out of Obama's election, it's that the people denied John McCain the Oval Office. In any case, McCain is losing his mind. His confused ramblings during the Comey hearing show he needs to step down, let the people of Arizona elect a senator who truly puts America, America not big money donors first, such as George Soros, right? Such as George Soros. And, he's a, and if he was elected president, we'd be in, in a continual state of war. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.